Just after the age of five, my daughter Emily was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And so when she was first diagnosed, when they told us she had a 90% chance of being cured, um, we, were, we were shocked that she had cancer, but we felt very hopeful that she would be in that 90%. But then 16 months in, around October of 2011, she relapsed for the first time, and at that point, she had less than a 30% chance of survival. It was really devastating, um, especially when she relapsed for the second time, and then after they told us that uh, chemotherapy or traditional medicine wasn't gonna work for her, you know, we were really desperate to find something. So it was uh, miraculous that this CAR T-cell trial opened uh, within 24 hours of when I paged them and said, uh, we need hope. I don't really know the word for it. Maybe miracle is the best word. All of these doctors who were working towards this treatment um, for it to come together um, at exactly the right time was just, you know, truly incredible. At this point, I just turned 17 in May of this year, so um, it's been 10 years. I felt like it was the path that we were put on, that we were supposed to help these other families too. So we started the Emily Whitehead Foundation so that we could help other kids receive the same treatment that Emily received. The Emily Whitehead Foundation aims to raise awareness and funds to help pediatric immunotherapy trials and research. The greatest way that we can raise awareness is with stories. Every CAR T journey is different and there's something to gain from everyone's story. Well, three and a half years ago, uh, while we were moving from the West Coast to the East Coast and we were visiting family in Texas, Ilani was diagnosed with leukemia. We've been treated at five different hospitals. We've done two bone marrow transplants. We've done two CAR T cell therapies and participated in three clinical trials. And Ilani's still fighting. We came across um, Emily Whitehead on YouTube and CAR T cell therapy. And we thought, wow, that's amazing. How can we, you know, get that? That's something that we need. So I contacted uh, Thomas, since that day, he's always been like someone I could reach out to. He could be halfway across the world, and if I need anything from him, he's going to try his best to make it happen. And it, it just means a lot, you know, it really does mean a lot. Oh, you know, I start crying after I get these calls, and it, it reminds me also of why uh, I spend so much time trying to make that difference. The way we're set up is, you know, we try to travel and inspire people that are working behind the scenes as well as helping patients. We've been able to run the foundation um, only by volunteers. It takes all hands on deck for us to do what we do. As a 20-year leukemia survivor, I know what these kids go through. So however you want to get active, you can activate the cure with the Emily Whitehead Foundation. This is now my passion to see all these kids have a life and be able to grow up and have half the fun I've had. Thirty-two teams, thirty-two sponsors that are coming out here to enjoy the day, which is amazing. To have the support, it, it means everything. Go out there, have fun today. Um, I want to see if someone get a hole in one out there. That would be great. I think the foundation board is, is, is growing, it's great, it's um, very diverse, and it really targeted at helping children, and that's what it's about. You know, you can be an organizer, you can come and, and come to the foundation, we're, we're always willing to talk to people. That's the work that we're doing at the foundation so that thousands and thousands of children years from now are able to survive.
The goal for the gala was to bring together mainly families who have been through CAR T-cell treatment and also to bring in, to invite the doctors and the researchers who created this therapy. It drives home the kids getting the opportunity to be kids. Cell therapy industry is still in its infancy. There will be many problems to solve for the next 50 years. So very motivating that, but if we keep pointing in the right direction and taking the right steps, we can really help it advance as a modality in cancer treatment. So for me personally, it's, it's meaningful. What I do every day is meaningful. Be a part of that, of, of making other families have their child home whole again and, and getting back to normal life. Um, I don't think there could be anything more rewarding than life. I just kind of don't understand how we couldn't do that. Um, you know, how we could uh, just maybe sit back and not tell her story when there's just this treatment out there that could help so many other children and has helped thousands of children since Emily's been treated. That's one of the biggest parts for me, is just seeing how much of a difference it can make whenever you share something like that and how personal it can be, but um, it's, it's really important to me to be able to share that with other people.